Hey, how's it going everyone? Bass here. And in today's video, I kind of want to talk about why David Bakhtiari's contract may become an issue. And before we get started, if you are new here and want more Packers news analysis and updates, I will be updating you guys on the Packers salary cap, draft, free agency, all throughout the offseason. So if you are new here, consider going down and clicking that subscribe button, as well as leaving a like on the video to support my channel. All right, so as we know, this offseason is going to be a hectic one. The Green Bay Packers are over $50 million over the salary cap, and they need to clear all that money. Uh, before March 16th, as well as figuring out Aaron Rodgers' deal, Devontae Adams' potential, potential deal, and all of that. Now, in order to do that, they need to potentially restructure a handful of players, and basically what that means is pushing money out to the future, you know, converting base salary and non-prorated bonus to prorated bonus, signing bonus, and just pushing it out in the future and saying, hey, you know, we'll we'll pay that later. Not Not in 2022, but later. <laughs> And David Bakhtiari surely is a candidate of that, and he would save a big chunk of cap on 2022 if he were restructured this year, roughly around $8 million, but we'll get into that later. But first, I want to look at his current contract, and if we bring it up here, we see in 2022, base salary $3.2 million, um, prorated bonus eight point seven, million, roster bonus nine point five, and then obviously workout and per game roster bonuses, equating a cap hit of $22.2 million dollars or 10.6 percent of the cap not terrible um average the two highest left tackles averages are trent williams and david bakhtiari right at 23 million so a cap of 22 million for one of the best if not the best left tackles when healthy in the nfl isn't too bad and i know a lot of people are saying hey we need to trade david bakhtiari his contract's ridiculous he didn't play at all he should have came back he didn't yada 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 it doesn't make any sense. You, you cannot trade David Bakhtari this year unless it was post June 1st, um, which would save $13.4 million, but eight point seven in dead money. But they have to be under the cap by March 16th. So that might include restructuring David Bakhtari. Then it would make it really impossible to trade him this year. So it's kind of unrealistic. And the really only realistic in terms of pre-June 1st way, uh, year to move on from David Bakhtari as his contract sits right now as you see here, is in 2024. You know, you get cap savings of $21.5 million and incur $8.7 million in dead money. Now, if the Packers were to restructure David Bakhtiari, that changes up his cap hits quite a bit. As we see here in 2022, it's 22.2. In 2023, it's 26.2. And in 2024, it's a whopping $30.2 million. Now, if they were to max restructure him, those go up a lot. That's pushing out pretty much as much money as they can to help the current year in 2022 and basically saying like I said earlier we'll pay you you'll we'll pay it later it's pretty much lowering his base salary to the lowest it can go taking his roster bonuses and workout bonuses and converting them into sign-in bonus and paying that over the extended years of his contract and if the Packers were to do a max restructure his deal would look like this I'll bring it up here as you see his base salary dropped down to the minimum it can be 1.12 million and then converting roster bonus and workout bonus to signing bonus, which would equate right around $12.9 million, spreading that over the three years via prorated bonus. And it would lower his cap hit from $22.2 million in 22, um, all the way down to $14.1 million, which is roughly $8.1 million in savings on the 2022 uh, cap, which they're, like I said, $50 million over the cap. So, you know, $8 million, that's a good chunk in the right direction. Now, obviously, that $8.1 million doesn't just disappear. A lot of people confuse restructures with pay cuts when that's not the case at all. It's actually better for the player to take a restructure because they get a chunk of their bonus right away. Um, but basically, they're not paying him any more or any less. It's just kind of reworking the books a little bit to when you pay him. And that is in, in 2023 and 2024 in this case. In 2023, as you see, his cap hit jumps from the original 26.2 all the way up to that 30.5. And then in 2024, his cap hit jumps from that original 30.2 all the way up to 34.5, which in that year would be 13.5% of the total cap. Just ridiculous ridiculous numbers for a 33 year old left tackle in 2024 i mean that's over eight million dollars higher than the next highest cap it for a left tackle in the year 2024 which is trent williams 
8 million higher. Now the Packers could still move on in 2024, but they 100% couldn't really move on in 2023 under this max restructure, meaning they would have to deal with that 30 million point five cap hit next year, unless it was a post June 1st uh, trade or cut. And again, revert back to what I said last time. That's kind of unlikely considering, you know, they might need to get under the cap again by next March 16th. And that, you know, that cycle just continues and continues. So now I want to look at what they would save via cuts um, under a max restructure when his deal is max restructured. And I'll bring that up right now via transactions here. And as you see, uh, DM is dead money and CS is cap savings. And as you see, like in 2022, if under max restructure, they would lose 25 million under their cap <laughs> um, if they were to cut him or trade him pre-June 1st. And as you see, post-June 1st, they, they still only gain 1.1 million. So that's Again, unrealistic. So if, if a max restructure happens, there's no possible way David Bakhtiari is being traded this year. No possible way. And in 2023, as you see, um, only 4.4 saved and incurring 26.1 dead. And a post June 1st cut slash trade, you know, it, it, it's possible. But like I said, it it just doesn't make much sense. Uh, 17.5 saving and 13 dead. Now they can still move on in 2024 under a max restructure, of course, because it's the last year of his deal. Um, saving 21.5 million and incurring 13 million in dead money. Now that's about 4.3 million dollars more in dead money than if they weren't to restructure David Bakhtiari's deal. And 2024 is not really the worry. Now, obviously, that 34 million dollar cap hit is ridiculous, and I really doubt David Bakhtiari would be on the team under that at all. I mean, they would probably either extend him or, like I said, cut slash trade him. The worry to me is in 2023, and that's hard to get around. You know, if they extend Aaron Rodgers to a mega deal for the next at least two years, maybe extend Devontae Adams to a mega deal for the next four years, Green Bay might be in another terrible cap situation again in 2023 with a left tackle cap hit of $30 million. But regardless, Green Bay has to move money around this year. They're $50 million over the cap. They have to get rid of that, no matter what. And a lot of that will be pushing money out, cutting players, and extending players. And they should go all in again, in my opinion. But this is just something to think about with David Bakhtiari when they potentially restructure him, and something to keep your mind on. But I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think the Packers should restructure David Bakhtiari, leave the deal the way it is, and maybe try to move on next year? Or like I said, restructure him, go all in again, and try for another Super Bowl and worry about it later. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. But that about do it for today's video. I'll catch you on the next one. As always, go Pack Go.